Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm going to do another card and dice game for you, but I got an intro that I'm going to do right here uh, before the game because these are two teams that you will not necessarily be familiar with. You will be familiar with the players on the teams for sure, but as teams, you wouldn't be because this is um, going to be a game between two teams from the 2000, the special 2000 Hall of Fame set, which I have. Um, and the cards, the card stock is very nice. I mean, the cards are excellent quality. Um, and uh, we're going to have a game between two teams. Now, as you can see here, on this uh, certificate, this was a 192 player set. And so what happened was I uh, took all of the players that came in that set and I divided them up into nine teams. And today we will be playing team nine against team two. And so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to give you a quick summary of the uh, starting lineups uh, of the players that will be playing for each team and uh, the pitchers. I'm not going to go through the bench players because the bench, I mean, they're all Hall of Famers. So all of these players are very, very good. So anyway, this is, uh, this is Team 9. The first batter on Team 9 is going to be Roger Bresnahan, the catcher for team nine and there's his card and again as always you can always stop the, the um, computer or the uh, stop the video whenever you want to take a better look at the cards uh, the next one is um, who is that Eddie Robinson Eddie Ro Ed Roush the next one is Ed Roush and uh, he will be playing center field for team nine and the next one is um, Wee Willie Keeler. And he will be playing right field for team number nine. And there's his card. And I love these. I mean, the card stock is excellent. And I like the little graph off to the side, you know, the little pie chart that they have. It's kind of cool. Uh, the next one, the DH. The DH for Team 9 is going to be Chucky Klein. Ch Chucky Klein of the 19, most famously, the 1930 Philadelphia Phillies. And also, I want to point out, these players are not necessarily all National League, all American League. I just randomly broke these players up into teams so that they would have enough to field a team and have a bench and have a pitching staff. So... Um, Anyway, the next one is Heine Manoush. Heine Manoush will be the left fielder for team number nine. There's his card. There's, of course, the stats are in the middle. You got the pie chart. You got the, um, you know, I love these cards. They're awesome. The next one you're going to have is the first baseman, and that's Jim Bottomley. Now, I don't really know a lot about Jim Bottomley, except that he was very good. As you can see, he hit 310 on this card. Not sure if these are career stats or best year stats. I'm not really sure, but I do know that Jim Bottomley was good. He must have been because he's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, the next one we're going to have is the second baseman, one of my favorites, Nelly Fox, the former White Sox player. And he will be playing second base for team number nine. And there's his card, and there's his pie chart, and all of his stats for you to look at. And then uh, the next guy we're going to have is Pee Wee Reese. And Pee Wee Reese will be the shortstop for team number nine. And the next guy and the last batter for team number nine is going to be Brooks Robinson. And of course, I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to the game is going to be DH, even though a lot of these guys, all probably almost all of them, 
played at times when there were no DHs at all. But of course, the reason behind that should be obvious, and that is you want to get as many Hall of Famers into the game as you possibly can. And pitching for team number nine is going to be one of my favorite all-time players, Nolan Ryan. And Noli will be on the mound for team number nine. And there's his pie chart and his stats. Very good team. Now you're probably saying to yourself, oh, well, that team's going to win. No. <laughs> Not necessarily. They're all Hall of Famers. So we're going to take a look at team number two. I got team number two's lineup made. And uh, leading off for team number two. In fact, you're going to look at team number two, and you're going to think maybe team number two is going to be the one that wins. Uh, team number two leading off, you've got Joe Morgan. Little Joe Morgan. There he is. He's going to be the leadoff batter, stealing double A. Second base one. Uh, the next batter is going to be Honus Wagner, shortstop one for team number two. And there's his stats, and he is also a double-A stealer. Now, if you noticed, and I don't know if you did, but team number nine does not have a double-A stealer. In fact, their leadoff batter, Bresnahan, is actually their best, um, their best, um, base stealer. And I think he was an A. And so, I don't know... I mean, I just want to say, if your best base dealer is your catcher, you probably have problems. The next guy we're going to look at is the number three hitter, and that is Pi Trainer. And a, again, a third base one. So I think so far, everybody has been a one that has come up on this uh, chart, or on this, uh, this lineup. You got the pie chart. You got the statistics there. You got the card. We And these are the... I also want to point out these are the basic side. They do have advanced side, but you know me, I don't play advanced. Particularly, I wouldn't play advanced for the channel because it would make the game a lot longer and it would therefore make the video a lot longer. The DH for team number two is going to be Reggie Jackson. The stick that stirs the drink. There he is. And there's his card. The next batter is going to be Jimmy Double X Fox, and he's going to be the first baseman for team number two. First base three. So, probably the first guy that's not a one out in the field for this team. And if you're going to have a position where you don't have a one, first base is the position to have that. The next guy you got, the left fielder. Zach Wheat. Zachary Wheat is going to be playing left field for team uh, number two. And uh, we've got, uh, yeah, center fielder. The center fielder for team number two is going to be Duke Snyder. And there he is, former Brooklyn Dodger. The next guy is the right fielder, Tommy McCarthy. Now, he's a guy I don't know much about, but again, I'm trusting that he was very good because he's in the Hall of Fame, because he's in this Hall of Fame set. So we're just going to go ahead and say that Tommy McCarthy is good, and he is going to make the starting lineup for team number two. And then you've got uh, Gabby Hartnett, the catcher. For team number two. And there is his car. And then we are again back to Joe Morgan. So that leaves us to look at the pitcher for team number two in this game, in this particular game, and that's going to be 
Dizzy Dean, the former uh, St. Louis Cardinal, I believe, most famously. And there is his card for you to take a quick look at and his stats. So it's going to be Dizzy Dean against Nolan Ryan. Great matchup. One that everybody would have wanted to see, I'm sure. I think Dizzy Dean did retire. I think he retired before Nolan Ryan started pitching. Although that's not necessarily true. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to uh, do this intro to introduce you to the teams so that you could see what the two teams are, or, you know, what players the two teams are comprised of so that you know, uh, well, what their cards look like. I mean, you know, they're all good. So we're gonna see team nine against team two. I didn't name them, so I don't know. If you wanna, you know, leave it in the comments, what should I name the teams? That's fine, go ahead and do that. But let's get on with the game. All right, well, you've been introduced to the teams. Don't say you haven't. Or maybe you skipped the introduction and came right to the game. In, that, in which case, you don't know the teams. But anyway, we are here with Hall of Fame team number nine against team number two. Uh, team number nine will be the visiting team. Team number two is at home. That means Dizzy Dean is finishing his warm-up tosses. And uh, let's, uh, we've got the board. The scoreboard is falling down. So, uh, we are ready to go. Team number nine ready to bat with Roger Bresnahan batting against Dizzy Dean. And he gets a 2-5, which is a single one to 18. And that is going to be a single for Roger Bresnahan. He is aboard. Never in your life have you seen anybody combine Stratomatic Baseball with Rumacube. But I'm doing it. Ed Roush is the next batter, and he gets a 2-2, which is a pop-out to second, one away. Dizzy Dean gets him out, and uh, also we have to remember that we did get a hit by team number nine. Wee Willie Keeler is up, and he gets a 6-7 on Dizzy Dean's card, which is a ground ball to second base, and that is Joe Morgan, and he is a 1. And that's a 17. That could be an error. It used to be an error. Is it still? It is. Joe Morgan makes an error. Unbelievable. Um, team number two. Making an error. So now you got two runners on with only one out. And you got Chucky Klein up. And he gets a 5-6 on Dizzy Dean. And that is a fly ball to left two away. And Heine Manoush is up, and he gets a 110, which is a double. Knocks in at least one. And the lead runner is Roger Bresnahan, who is a running one to 14. Or wait a minute, no, no, it isn't. It is um, Wee Willie Keeler, I believe. 1 to 17, they are going to send him. And uh, he does score. That's a it's a twelve. So probably whoever it was scored. So that was a base hit, another base hit for team number nine. And uh, two runs come in for team number nine. And uh, that brings up Jim Bottomley, the first baseman, with a runner at second and two down. And that is a 1-5, which is a single. And that's Manoush. He's a 1-14. They're going to hold him. And runners are at the corners with Nelly Fox up. And he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball second base. And team number 9 is retired. But we're going to the bottom of the second. After they get two runs, team number 9 does. And Joe Morgan will be facing Nolan Ryan, who is pitching for team number nine. 
That is a 3-8, which is a walk. So, Joe Morgan is aboard. And he's a stealing double A. He's going to try to steal. And he does make it. It doesn't matter who the catcher is. The catcher could be the greatest Hall of Fame catcher you ever saw in your life. You're not going to throw him out one to nine. Uh, Honus Wagner, or with a roll of nine. Six nine. Uh, Nolan Ryan is a strikeout. So there is one down with Joe Morgan at second. Pie trainer up, and he gets a four a four eight. Four eight is another walk. So. Nolan Ryan putting another guy aboard. No hits yet. And Reggie Jackson. Reginald Jackson. 2-4. And that is a walk. The bases are loaded with twos. With guys from Team 2. Hall of Fame Team 2. With only one out. And Jimmy Fox up. And he gets a 2-2, which is a fly ball right field B. And does score the runner at third. And uh, they're doing all of this with no hits. They, it's actually 2-1, to one, and they have no hits. And Zach Weed is up, and he gets a 4-6, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is Pee Wee Wees, and he's a 2, and that's an 18. That's probably an out, I'm going to guess. That is an out. So, no runs, and there you are. It is 2-1. to one. Between two Hall of Fame teams, you would expect nothing more or nothing less. So we got Pee Wee Reese, speak of the devil, and he's going to lead off for team number nine against Dizzy Dean. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball third base. One away. No guys are on yet. Brooks Robinson, the third baseman, gets a 4-6, and that is a walk. So he's aboard. Free pass and Roger Bresnahan comes up. He gets a 6-4 ground ball. Shortstop. The shortstop is probably, oh, I'm going to guess he's a 1. He is. It's uh, Honus Wagner. And that is going to be a 12. That might be an error. It is. It's a one base error for team number 2. And that's their second error. A team full of Hall of Famers, they've already made two errors. One out, Ed Roush up. 3-5, that's a single. And that's going to load the bases. And, uh, yeah, that's another hit that um, has been given up by Dizzy Dean. Wee Willie Keeler is up. He gets a 4-3. That's a ground ball B, but no, the pit, the infield was not in, so a run will score. Uh, two outs. They get the, let's see, let me make sure of that. I think they get the runner at second, but let me see. Uh, ground ball B. Batter is out at first. If no runners are forced, runners hold. If one or more runners forced, runner on first is out. The batter is safe. Okay, so that's exactly what happened. So now there are runners at the corners and they got another run. And there's two out. And now with Chucky Klein up. And he gets a 1-7, which is a home run 1-5. to five, Or a double. And that's exactly what it is. It's a double. They get another hit and another run. And it's a 4-1 to one lead for team number 9. And Heine Manoush is up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a double 1-9. to He's going to knock in both runs. Runners. And it is a single, actually. But it knocks in both runners. And, uh, you know, earlier you might have been a little... Uh-oh, I gave him too many hits. But anyway. Uh, they do... Um, I think they scored two on that. So... It's six to one... And that brings up Jim Bottomley. And he gets a 6-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Dizzy Dean finally gets out of the inning, but not before 
uh, team number nine opens up a real big lead. It's six to one with Duke Snyder facing Nolan Ryan. And that's a 5-11, which is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for team number nine is um, let's see here. Jim Bottomley, and he is a two. And that's a one. That's going to be a base hit. That's their first hit of the game. That brings up Tommy McCarthy. He gets a 312, which is a fly ball right field B. So there's one down. Gabby Hartnett gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. That's two away. And Joe Morgan back to the top of the order. 1-4, that's a walk. Honus Wagner is up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a single with one asterisk, so everybody has to hold. Second hit, though, for this team. And uh, that brings up Pi Trainer. Pi Trainer with a 3-8 is a fly ball B. They came close, they threatened, but they did not push a run across. And we're going to the top of the third. And that is going to be it for Dizzy Dean. Dizzy Dean, he had his chance. He didn't do really well. They're going to bring in Stan Kovaleski. The stats on the card, 215 lifetime wins, 142 losses, and a 288 earned run average. And he will be facing Nellie Fox. And that's a 6-7, which is a line out to third base one away. Pee Wee Reese gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 1. That is a 4, so he is out. Two away. And, uh, yeah, and then nobody is on. And Brooks Robinson gets a 4-9. That is a single 1-9. to nine. And it is a hit. So team number nine with their eighth hit of the game, that's by Brooks Robinson, Brooksy. And Roger Bresnahan steps up and he gets a 1-9, which is a double. Now, the question, are they gonna send Roger or uh, are they gonna send um, Brooks Robinson? And he's a one to eleven, so no, they are not. That's the answer to the question. But they did get another hit. And now they do have runners at second and third. And Roger Bresnahan up. No. Um, Ed Rausch. Ed Rausch is up and he gets a 3-4, which is a fly ball right field. No runs come across, although they did threaten again. Num team number nine is really putting the pressure on. Reggie Jackson steps up. That is a 2-7, which is a walk. They're getting guys on base. They just uh, haven't scored them really well. Uh, Jimmy Fox, Jimmy Double X Fox, 5'9", Stan Kovaleski he is a strikeout, one away. Zach Wheat gets a 5'7", that is a fly ball right field, two away. And Duke Snyder gets a 6'5", and that is a ground ball to the shortstop, who is a 1, and that is an out. So, we're going to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth, Wee Willie Keeler is up. And that is a 5-7. And uh, this is team number nine. This is team number nine, right. And that is a fly ball, one away. Chuck Klein gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball center field, two away. And Heine Manoush gets a 1-5, which is a single. Tenth hit of the game for team number nine, and Bottomley is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a triple, 1-3, or a double. 
And that is actually a triple, and it drives in another run. And team number nine is really taking it here to team number two. Nelly Fox gets a 311, and that is a single, and knocks in the runner from third. Another run. This is incredible. They've only had one inning where they didn't score, and they had runners at, at least... I think base is loaded or at least two runners on ready to score. Or wait a minute, and that's a single. And then uh, Brooks Robinson gets a 4-6, and that is a strikeout. So, no, run, no more runs come across, but two do come in that inning. Um, after, after the two scored, no runs came in. So it's 8-1. to one. And Tommy McCarthy... Up facing Nolan Ryan. No reason to relieve Ryan yet. 5-6, that's a strikeout. Gabby Hartnett. That is a 6-5, which is a home run 1-2. Or a double. That will be a double. And I already mistakenly gave them a hit. I think. So, um, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. It was the other team I mistakenly gave a hit, so I'm going to have to not give them the next one. Joe Morgan comes up. He gets a 2-4, which is a fly ball right field, two away. And Honus Wagner's up, and he gets a 6-4, which is a strikeout. So Nolan Ryan is shutting these guys down. We go to the top of the fifth inning. And you have... Uh, Not Brooks Robinson. You have Roger Bresnahan up to lead off the fifth. He gets a 4-5, which is a fly ball center field. One away. Ed Roush gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball left field. Two away. And you got Wee Willie Keeler, who gets a 4-10, and that's a pop out to first. So, no runs quickly. Uh, don't come in there. And we go to the bottom of the fifth with... Pie Trainer up against Nolan Ryan. He gets a 4-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Reggie Jackson, who did face Nolan Ryan probably several times, strikes out. Two away. Probably did that several times, too. And Jimmy Fox is up, and that's a 6-3, which is a walk. And that brings up Zach Wheat, 2-6, which is a single. That's their fourth hit of the game. And Duke Snyder comes up. The Duke. And he strikes out. And they are going to take out Stan Kovaleski just to get some fresh blood in there. Um... Let's see. Yeah. No runs, and we go to the top of the sixth. And they will bring in Christy Mathewson. Christy Mathewson is facing the Team 9 lineup, and he's going to be facing Chuck Klein of that lineup. And that's a 1 7 home run, 1 to 5, or a double. That's a gone. It's out of the park. Chuck Klein. They are just really smoking these guys. And I now I here I'm not going to give the hit because I erroneously gave a hit before that I shouldn't have given, I think. So that is another run, and it's 9-1 to one with Heine Manoush up. He gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to second, one away. Jim Bottomley up with one down, and that's a 3-7, which is a ground ball to the third baseman B, two away, and Nellie Fox is up, and that's a 6-3, and that's going to be a walk, and up steps Pee Wee Reese, and he gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball center field, so no runs come in, and uh, we're going to the, or wait a minute, yes, one run did come on, on the uh, Chuck Klein home run. 
So we're going to the bottom of the sixth, and it is nine to one. Incredibly, two Hall of Fame teams, and one is just getting crushed by the other. Tommy McCarthy is up. He gets a six seven. That's a walk. They'll take whatever they can get. Gabby Hartnett gets a six eleven. That's a fly ball right field. The right fielder is probably good. He's a one. It's Wee Willie Keeler. And that's going to be an out, one away. Uh, Joe Morgan is up. He gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball, third base B. So now he is aboard at second. And he will try to steal because he has to. And he's out. He's gunned out. I think it was Gabby Hartnett that guns him, right? No, Bresnahan. Bresnahan guns him out. So Gabby Hartnett's on the other team. And uh, no runs come in, and they uh, we go to the top of the seventh with team number nine up. Uh, number nine, and that's uh, Brooks Robinson is going to face Christy Mathewson, and he gets a four nine, which is a ground ball shortstop. Uh, their shortstop is a one. It's Honus Wagner. I don't know if that's an out. It um, he's a one, and that was a two. Yes, he is out. One away. Roger Bresnahan gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball shortstop. He was the one that gunned out Joe Morgan at the end of last half inning. And Ed Roush comes up and he gets a 6-6, which is a triple one to three. Or it's a fly ball, and that is. It's a fly ball to center field. And we're going to the bottom of the seventh. Team number two up, Honus Wagner. And you know what? No, he'll finish the he'll, Ryan will finish the seventh. Wagner up six seven. That's a walk. Got a man aboard. High trainer is up. That's a one ten, which is a double one to seven or a single. Well, maybe he won't. It's a single double asterisk. That's their fifth hit of the game. Runners are at the corners with. I don't think there's any out. I think there is one. I think there's one out. Might be wrong about that, but anyway, I'm sure I'm not going to short change them to the degree. If I did, to the degree where they would have won the game. By trainer, 6-6. Six, six. That's a trip. That's a. That is a triple one to three or a fly ball to the center fielder. And it is a fly ball and it does score the run. Two away. And uh, that brings in a run, and it's 9-2. to two. And that brings up Reggie, Reggie Jackson. 3-8, that's a double. And uh, uh, that's, a, that's another hit, sixth hit. And let's see, are they going to send the runner... No, they're not going to. They need base runners and runs. They don't need to try to extend stuff. Jimmy Fox comes up. He gets a 3-4, but that's a ground ball shortstop. And he is out. And they don't get any runs. Team 2. Or they do. Again, I keep making that mistake. Yes, they did get a run. That inning. So now we go to the top of the 8th, and it is 9-2. With team number 9 facing Christy Mathewson, who of course... Is good for the innings. Wee Willie Keeler is up and he gets a 3 5, which is a double 1 to 12. And that is a double. Team number 9 with a double. And their 13th hit. And Chuck Klein at the plate, he gets a 2 9, which is a strikeout. One away. Next batter, Heine Manouche. Heine Manouche gets a 5 8. Which is a fly ball center field to away. And Jim Bottomley gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball center field. And now we will replace Nolan Ryan. They get no runs. We go to the bottom of the eighth. With team number two batting. And they will be batting this time against Hoyt Wilhelm. 
comes on to relieve Ryan. And Zach Wheat will face him, and he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball to the center fielder. And the center fielder is probably a 1, but let's very he is, he's a 1. And that's an out. Duke Snyder is up with one down. That is a 5-6. That is a strikeout, two away. And the lifetime statistics for Hoyt Wilhelm, he was 143 and 122 with a 252 earned run average. And Tommy McCarthy facing him. And he gets a ground ball to the shortstop. No runs there. We go to the top of the ninth. Team number nine with a nine-run lead. I have all the ironies. Nellie Fox is up. You get a 5'11 on uh, Matthewson's card. He is a pitcher. He's considered to be a two-fielder. That is going to be, I believe, a base hit. It is not. Actually, it's not. No, he's out. Matthewson does throw him out. Um... Pee Wee Reese gets a 6-7, which is a single 1-12. to 12. And that is a single. Brooks Robinson is up, and that is the 14th hit for team number 9. 4-5, that is a ground ball second base C. Runner at second, two down. And Roger Bresnahan is up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a triple 1-5 to five or a double. Double. He doubles in a run. Another hit, and it's another run. And it's 10 to 2, incredibly. And Ed Roush is up, and he gets a 4 5, and that is ground ball C. So that's it um, for team number 9 in the ninth. They did get a run. They have a 10 to 2 lead. So we go to the bottom of the ninth with team number 2. Needing eight runs off of Hoyt Wilhelm and Gabby Hartnett to start that out. And he gets a triple one to seven or a fly ball. And it is actually a fly ball to the center fielder, one away. Joe Morgan gets a 4-12, which is a walk. Joe Morgan, he's been on base. He, is, he was a scrappy player. Uh, but that brings up Honus Wagner. 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six is a triple 1-7 to seven or a fly ball. And it's going to be a fly ball to center field, to away. And that brings up Ty Trainer, And he gets a 1-7, which is a single. Two runners are aboard. That's the seventh hit. But they still need a lot of runs, and there's two outs. And Reggie Jackson is up, and he gets a 5-8, and that's a strikeout. And that's how your game ends. Team number nine whoops up on team number two by the, the score of 10 to 2. 15 hits for team number nine and only seven for team number two. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.